right, you guys, I grew my beard out a little bit for this episode because we're making an iconic dish from Michigan that originally started out as minor food. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Coast to Coast. Today, we're making an iconic dish from Michigan. Originally started out in Cornwall, England. We're making the pasty. It's essentially just a meat pie with steak, potatoes folded into a nice puff pastry and baked. Uh, miners used to take these, heat them up, wrap in foil, stick them in their pocket, take them to the mine. Let's go check out how to make them. I just got our pastry dough out of the fridge. We popped that in last night, let that sit overnight. Now let's get working on making our pasties. These last couple episodes, I've used a lot of lighter beers, like some Pilsners and things, uh, because we've been cooking with seafood. Well, now that we've got some meat pies, some pasties, Michigan pasties, um, we are making some man food for sure. This, uh, these started off as uh, miner's food. Uh, these guys would go off to work, they'd bake these in the morning, literally just stick them in your pocket. Now, these are huge, so they don't stick in your pocket all that well. But uh, yeah, these, the crust on these is super sturdy. Um, they're just a really good hearty meat pie. And for that, we're gonna pair this with a really good hearty manly beer as well. Uh, and this comes from New Holland Brewing. It's the uh, Dragon's Milk Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout. Um, it's 11% kicky in the pants. Um, I think it's gonna pair really well with these meat pies, these Michigan pasties. Let's jump in and see what they taste like. That's fantastic. Yeah, doggy, that's a beer. 
When you're talking about a steak and potatoes kind of meal, this is it. The super tough exterior of this pastry crust, this is what you want. You want something sturdy. Um, and then the inside, it's really moist. That beef is just super tender. The potatoes and the rutabaga and the, the root vegetables like the carrots, really, really just gives it some awesome, awesome flavor. And this being as hearty as it is, pairing it with the bourbon barrel aged stout, 11%, um, you can't go wrong with this dish. I've had a lot of bourbon barrel aged beers before, but this one you can really get the bourbon and the vanilla and the oak that come from that aging process. Um, a lot of that bourbon really does pull through. It does have a lot of really good vanilla uh, aromatics. The carbonation on this is pretty low, which is what you kind of were hoping for. Um, I wouldn't drink this ice cold. I'd warm it up to about 40, 45 degrees. And then a lot of those complex aromatics will really, really start to come out uh, as, this, as this beer warms up. So thank you, New Holland Brewing, for making such a fantastic beer. All right, Michigan, I see why this is such an iconic dish for you guys. This is delicious, it's fantastic. The Cornish pasty, if you feel that I represented your state well, give me a like, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, man.